How you guys all doing today? Welcome to another episode on the Dev Marketer channel. This series is, and we're starting a brand new series, and it's all about the basics of Git. Now, Git is a version control system, as many of you guys may know, but a lot of you don't know really how to use it. And I wanted to go ahead and start a basics tutorial to get you up and running with Git and get you allow you to basically use Git enough to be able to upload stuff to GitHub, to share it with people, and to start contributing to open source projects, or even just a way to kind of track your own projects. So um, I'm gonna give you the basics of basically checking, of I guess installing it, of setting up your initial repository, how to initialize a repository, how to obviously add things to staging and commit them, and then uploading them to a site like GitHub. Okay, so that's basically what this series is gonna cover. It's gonna be six or seven episodes long where we're just gonna basically start by learning Git itself as a technology, and then we're gonna learn about how to incorporate GitHub and how to use the basics of GitHub as well and um, all that kind of stuff. Now the main motivation I have for this series in addition to actually helping the community because it's really important to know Git because Git is the focus around the entire open source movement. And as a developer, you're gonna be finding yourself using a lot of open source technologies. Um, a lot of the stacks we're currently using on this channel are all open source stacks, things like Ruby on Rails, um, Laravel, and um, all sorts of stuff like that. Those are all open source stacks of technology. And then there's smaller plugins in there that are also open source. And as you start working with open source, you're gonna find yourself on GitHub a lot. And you need to know how to clone repositories, how to um, send merge requests, and how to upload your own stuff. And so that's why I really wanted to do this. And the second reason is because I get a lot of emails about people wanting help on um, with different projects or tutorials that I'm working on. I'm happy to provide it. And um, But the problem is it's really difficult for me to help you guys when you copy and paste code into um, email clients. Because first of all, it doesn't always render over very well, so I can't really, it's really hard to read sometimes with line spacings and stuff like that. Also, you guys obviously, instead of sending over your whole document, which is understandable, you copy the what you think is relevant for the bug. And a lot of times what ends up happening is, um, you actually sent over the wrong code. I need to see another page or something like that. And um, I end up having to go back and forth. I'm wondering, you know, you think that you guys will think you're like, you have an error. And you, so you send me over the, you know, um, one of your controllers and one of your your routing file and like a model. And you'll send me over those all copy and pasted into an email document. And I'll look at it and it all looks fine. And I'm like, well, send me this controller because I bet you might be in this controller. Oh, it's not. Okay, let's try this controller. Oh, okay, that's the problem. And it ends up taking a lot longer. If you're able to just send me a GitHub link, I can actually see your entire document. I can go through every page in your document. It makes my job much easier. I can see all the code. It's very formatted. It's syntax highlighted. And then it speeds up the process for you guys. So it's a win-win. It's also gonna help you if you collaborate. And also, many of you guys are trying to get jobs as freelancers or as junior developers and stuff like that. You have to know Git. You can't get a job. You can't really work in 2016 as a developer without knowing Git. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and learn the basics of Git. And um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. 